Hello YouTube! Greetings from Portugal once again. My name is Paulo Silva and today we are going to talk about analog. This is the Little 116 by Vintage Maker. It is a passive summing mixer with 16 inputs and 2 outputs. This box allows you to sum signal from your door into the analog domain. Vintage Maker claims you'll be able to hear more 3D sound with more depth, better highs and lows and a more focused and detailed stereo image. The rear panel has left and right TRS outputs and a 16 balanced inputs via 2DB25 connectors. The front panel of the Little 116 comes with a mono stereo switch, allowing you to create a mono version of input 1 and 2. There is also a switch for more headroom, where you can toggle between minus 15 and minus 25 dBs. Each box can be fully customized regarding your needs and equipment. Yes! that thing that everyone is looking forward to get, what everyone is chasing and trying to get from their DAWs and in-the-box mixes. And in-the-box mixes. Some companies, they claim that they can give you that with a plug-in. Well, there are a lot of albums out there that they were completely mixed in the box. I might have something that probably will help you to get analog sound or not. This little box right here, it says passive summing mixer. You can mix 16 channels via these two DB25s here and you can add some flavor into your mixes. Is that a true statement or not? Well, let's check it. This is a two video series. I'm going to show you the features of the box, how it works. I'm going to show you how it sounds as well, because otherwise there will be people bitching around, right? On the second video, it's going to be a full review of the whole thing. And then there will be a mix using at least eight channels. And then we'll compare if there's a big difference between mixing totally in the box or running some audio through this little box. For this first test, I'm sending the music through the output 3 and 4 of my ID22. And then I'm recording it back into Logic through the input 1 and 2. So before recording, we need to set the levels of the input 1 and 2 accordingly to the output 3 and 4. So for that matter, I've used the test oscillator from Logic. And now I'm going to match the level of channel 1 and channel 2. So the output of channel 3 and 4 is minus 12 dBFS. Now I'm going to pan to the left, output 3 and 4 and channel mix 2. And now increasing the gain on channel 1, I'm going to set the level to minus 12 dBFS. Now I'm going to set the pan knob all the way to the right on the output 3-4 and the channel mix 2. I'm going to increase the gain on input 2 and set the level to minus 12 dBFS as well. That way our input and output will be completely level matched. After setting the pan knob to the center, we can see that there's a slight difference between channel 1 and channel 2. Adjusting the gain of input 2, we'll be able to level match all the channels. So now, 
We are ready for the test. Is this box actually adding anything to the sound? Now I'm going to show you track 1 and track 2. Then I'm going to flip the face and we'll be able to hear the difference. The tracks are time aligned as well, so that way everything is completely synced. When we flip the face, we'll be able to hear any difference or not. Let's check it out. Keep in mind, you need to press subscribe if you want to hear more from me and make sure you smash that bell, kind of, if you want to be the first one to know that there's a new video coming up. Thank you very much, guys. Next video is going to be the full review of this little box and we'll be comparing all the differences between in the box and through the passive summing mixer. Have a great week, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.